here is what your command will be looking like after we're done with the episode you're gonna be able to type slash server info and what you're gonna get back is an embed filled with information about the guide all right so we're gonna start out by creating a new file inside of our commands folder utilities and you can call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it server info now here we're gonna extract the command interaction and the message embed from the discord.js package so we're gonna type const open up an object and require discord.js and now here we can require the command interaction and the message embed that's all we need from the discord package right so now we're gonna model those exports and then now the command is gonna be server info the description of it is gonna be server info you can name it whatever you want and describe it uh, as you like uh, now we're gonna execute and all we need to execute is the interaction and then we're gonna grab our parameters for the interaction so we're gonna type command interaction very simple all right so what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna define guile so const interaction so we're gonna get the guile property from the interaction all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open another const object and equal to guide. Now you, you might wonder why didn't we do uh, const whatever uh, equals to interaction.guide. It's because I want to use the guide as a property itself. So and here we're gonna grab whatever we need. And we'll leave this empty for now, all right? So we're gonna go down a couple more lines and here we're gonna type const embed equals to new message embed. We can set the color of it to be whatever you want. And now here at the author, we're going to set author. And here we can type guild.name, for example, and guild.icon.l and dynamic in case if uh, it's a GIF. All right. So uh, we're going to go to one more line, set thumbnail, and we're going to type guild.icon.l and it's also going to be dynamic. Very simple. All right. So now we're going to start with the fields. So we're going to type dot add fields. And we're gonna open up round brackets. Then, um, because every field is an object, we're gonna open up an object for every field. So what we can do is type name, and the first field is gonna be about general information about the guide. So we're gonna type general, for example, and the value, and then it's gonna be the backticks. So the reason there's a couple of reasons we're using uh, backticks. One of them being the dollar sign and the curl brackets, um, but we're using the, also the backticks because whenever you basically make a space in your code, it's gonna be an actual space inside of the embed. That's what's cool about this uh, backticks. Uh, so all right, so the first uh, thing in that value is gonna be the guide name, so it's gonna be guide dot name, and then the created. So we're gonna basically give information about when the guide was created. Uh, relative to the date right now so what to, to do that we're gonna type this bracket t and now here we're gonna type guide.created at timestamp you can either do that or you can grab the created timestamp from the guide property so you don't have to specify it to be guide all right and now uh, we're gonna type uh, two dots or and then close the bracket pretty simple so far um, or actually we're not, we're not even done yet so we're gonna put this inside uh, round brackets and we're gonna divide it by 1000 to get the second and then we're gonna percent to remove the uh, comma whatever or the dot whatever so we're gonna we get a clear number all right now for the owner we're gonna uh, type these brackets then add sign and then curly brackets and here we can type or we're gonna grab the guide or the owner id from the guide object so we're gonna type owner.id and close off the brackets we're gonna we create a new space and here we're gonna type description and it's gonna be the guide description so i'm showing you two ways to extract information from an object you can either grab the description from here or you can type uh, guide.description so let's try this out for now all right so uh, now we're, we're done with the first field we're gonna uh, see how our embed looks like and we're gonna see if we get any errors we can correct them now that we have fewer fields so and that and now let's uh, start the boat all right so here we're gonna type slash server info and like you see here we get the general information tkf community the name of the guide 
here's the thumbnail and the owner which is me and created two years ago approximately and here we have the description so simple so far now we're gonna move over to our the next field so the next field is gonna be uh, about the users so name it's gonna, you can add an emoji too if you want if you would like to so it's gonna be users and because there is two types of users there is bots and there is members so we're gonna filter them out to display the actual uh, numbers uh, so what we can do is we can open back text again create a couple of spaces and here we're gonna type members and it's gonna be and here we're gonna filter so members what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the members object from the guide so all right so members dot cache dot filter we're gonna filter each member and the actual members are gonna be the members that are not bots so we're gonna type exclamation mark m dot user dot bot so if the member isn't a bot and here we're gonna grab the size so we're gonna get the number and now for the bots it's the same logic we're gonna copy paste this but we're gonna remove the exclamation mark so if the user is bot right so that's it for our users um now let's Restart the bot and try our command again. Server info. Like you see here, we get the users and the member, um, and we can get the total also. So, what we can do is go down a couple more uh, spaces and we're gonna type total. And here we can uh, grab the member count of, uh, property from the guides. All right. Here we can type members, uh, or actually members count, member count, just like this. Now, if we restart again, we should see the member count over here. So that this is the total. All right. Now let's move to our second or third field, which is gonna be um, the channels. This is a big field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the channels object from the guide, and here we're gonna specify the name to be. Let's add an emoji first of all. For example, this one. Why not? Oops. All right. So here we're gonna tap channels. And the value is going to be also with black text. All right. So the first the thing that we're going to do is we're going to display the text, the amount of text channels that we have. So we're going to here we're going to type channels dot cache dot filter the same logic that we did here. Uh, C which is the channel C dot type is going to be equal to guide dot text or underscore text. And now for the voice, same logic. We just copy this, paste it here, and instead of guide text. You can select guide voice. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, now for the threads, for example, let's copy this, paste it here. Instead of guide text, it's gonna be because we have two types of threads. We have public, or actually uh, three: public, private, and use. So let's grab the public, All right? And then we're gonna add the add and sorry and sign. And um, here we're gonna type guide. We can copy this. Copy it here and change the public to private. Private. And the last one was news, I think. We'll see. So let's actually crop this. Uh, news. And here we can put the public. Pretty simple so far. And now for the categories. So categories. We can also copy this. Paste it here. And instead of the guide voice, we can change it to be, um, let's see here, guide category. All right, now for the stages. Stages, you see, guys, this is pretty simple. We're gonna copy paste it again. And instead of guide voice, it's gonna be guide dot uh, stage uh, underscore voice or underscore stage under uh, voice. And now, last but not least, is use is gonna be. We're gonna copy it again. This is like the announcement channels and stuff. So where is it in use? And that's it. So at the end of it, we're gonna type total channels dot cash dot size. And we forgot to do one thing. So we're gonna copy the total size. We're gonna place it outside of this round brackets and all of them. So we get the actual size, not the actual map. So now let's write our command again. See if we get any errors. Slash server info like see here we get the text uh, the voice threads then two and this might be off by a little because there's 
I don't know there's hidden channels like these ones whatever uh, so now we're done with the channels uh, uh, fields we're gonna create another field and this is gonna be for the emojis and stickers so the name is gonna be let's add for example an emoji up here emojis stickers and then the value is gonna be same bad ticks so here we're gonna type we're gonna filter the emojis that are animated because we have two types of emojis we have animated and static so animated is gonna be equals to and here we can grab the emojis property from the guide so let's grab emojis and we're gonna type here emojis dot cache dot filter we're gonna filter each emoji that is actually uh, animated just like this and we're gonna grab the size and for the static, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, same thing, static. Copy paste this, and all we need to change is put a, a, this exclamation mark behind this, uh, the e, and that should be it. Now we can put the total. Actually, we need to put the stickers. So stickers. It's gonna be stickers. Sorry, let's grab the stickers property, or yeah, the actual property. So stickers, just like this stickers dot cash dot size All right and now for the total is gonna be uh, so here it's gonna be stickers dot cash dot size plus the emojis dot uh, cash dot size pretty simple so now let's write our command now that we're done with our field server info like see here stickers static animated and verb so uh, now we're gonna move on to the nitro statistics. So here we're gonna type name and add an emoji. Here we're gonna type nitro statistics. I always write statistics wrong. So if it's wrong, don't please don't bully me in the comments. So the value is gonna be also that takes create a couple of spaces. And here we're gonna type here. And the tier is going to be actually a guide dot premium premium tier and here we're going to replace because um, i'm going to show you why so if you type guide dot premium tier let's restart the bot the info is going to return tier underscore three but we, that doesn't look nice in the embed so we're going to remove that and it's pretty simple we're going to type dot replace we're going to replace tier underscore with nothing with nothing that's like this and now if we try it again so slash server info like you see here it's changed to three because we are at tier three all right so now for the boosters or the boost count so uh, boosts for example we have guide dot uh, premium subscription count very simple and now for the amount of boosters so boosters equals equals to guide dot or actually we're gonna filter through the members so members members dot cash dot filter we're gonna filter and we only get we need the members that premium sense so we're gonna get the size and we are done with our uh, statistic command so now let's go down here at the end of the embed and here we can set a uh, footer saying that uh, last checked right and then we can set timestamp and now if we restart the bot type slash server info like you see here we have our nature statistics 10 boosters 14 boosts tier 3 and here are the totals so it was a pretty simple command if you also want to display the roles uh, create a new field and you can type like this for example uh, roles uh, let's see guide dot roles cache dot size and you can get the actual size of the roles i place it in the wrong category now but uh, just to show you how you can do it so server info like you see here we have 45 roles now if you see the screenshot to the left this is how your command currently will look like on your phone which is a little bit too wacky to fix that kevin fogged find a way to uh, to fix that issue by actually creating an array of uh, value indexes and then joining these indexes or 
strings inside of the array uh, with a with a, a new line uh, which i will show you in just a second but thank you kevin uh, check his github uh, down in the description uh, and now i'm going to show you the fix now to combat that issue um, all you have to do is change the value of the uh, of the field to be an actual array so um, you're going to create an array basically and inside of that array you're going to place each individual line uh, to its line basically so what we're going to be doing here is i'm going to show you an example on one field and then you can change it for the other ones so for example this line is going to be like this uh, and the same with the others so you're just gonna basically create uh, a list of values all right same with the owner let's remove this extra space this one too all right and then for the last one is going to be the description we're going to place it into its own back uh, back text. and then here at the end of the day all you need to do is type dot join and here you're gonna join it with with slash n, which is an actual uh, space or not space, a new line. Um, so I'm gonna change it for all of these, and then I'm gonna come back to you. All right. So now that I have done this to all of the uh, fields, like you see on on your screen, uh, so this, and now start dot join because I forgot to do it here. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, now let's write the command slash server info. And like you see, it's completely normal. Actually, it looks a little bit more better right now. And on the phone, it's gonna be looking like this. So it's much better. So thank you, Kevin, for finding this out and uh, letting us know. And uh, now you learned a new thing. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you in the next one.